Hey guys, my name is Krista. Welcome back to my channel. Um, so recently I've been doing a series of how to coupon at Dollar General. Tomorrow we have a five off 25. We also have instant savings, a five off 30. Bunch of things going on at Dollar General. So I thought I would make you guys a quick video on what order you should give the cashier your coupons. This is very important. It can make a huge difference in your transaction, especially if you have instant savings or you're doing the five off 25 and you have digital coupons and paper coupons. So what I did is a few days ago, I went to Dollar General and I just recorded like myself and my transaction. It's unfortunate that the employees are having a conversation. Um, the manager actually called and they got in trouble. Um, you'll hear it in the background. So I don't know how to stop them from talking. So I'm going to kind of pause the video and walk you guys through the process and then at the the end of this video I wrote this all down and you guys can just screenshot that or write it down what order the coupons go in I just thought it would help if you guys kind of watch the transaction I am recording this myself so the video is not the best quality so first she's just scanning all my items and the way I was holding the phone you can hear my me breathing and it's really annoying. I apologize about that. Okay, so you're going to hear me say I got a 3 off 15. So she actually totaled it out, and then I handed her my 3 off 15. Um, I didn't, for some reason, show that in the video, but that's what happened. She hit total. Some people also say they hit clear, but they hit total, and then you hand over your 3 off 15. 15. I'm at $15 subtotal. Okay, you see that on the bottom of the screen where it says coupon accepted. I know it's hard to see, um, but it does say that there. If you're using only a 3 off 15, it will say coupon accepted. Also, if you have any instant savings, they're going to come off after they scan all the items and hit total the first time. Thank you. Now I'm going to put my Bye -bye. digital coupons in. That is not my phone number, by the way, and I've already used that phone number, all the good coupons off of it, so it wouldn't do you any good to use that phone number. But anyway, see at the bottom where it says 261 coupons found for and then the phone number. Anytime you put your digital coupons in, you're going to want to make sure it says that on the screen. If it doesn't say that or it says uh, no coupons found for that phone number, then your coupons did not go through and you basically just want to try again. Also, you can see on the screen that little button that says DG digital coupons sign in or join. If you don't, if you've never done a transaction at Dollar General, when you put your phone number in, you just hit that button and it'll prompt you to put your phone number in. You have to answer the phone within three rings. So my she, digital coupons so are going through. Doing the recovery of the store. She it takes you were a doing minute. I, I use digital coupons. I didn't put. I didn't well, do she's got to hit total again. See. She was like, "We was doing the recovery on the floor," because she thought you were doing it. I told her I was doing it. Was she mad about that? No. Okay, so I have a zero subtotal. After tax, I'm going to pay 65 cents. Did you hear the employee say, was she mad about that? Anyway, um, so I did write this out. Let's see if I can go to my notes. Oh, goodness. Here it is. All right, so if you guys want to screenshot this or write it down, I basically just wrote it out into steps for you guys. Number one, scan all items. Of course, the cashier is going to scan all the items. The second step is the cashier needs to hit total. 
The third step, if you had any instant savings, they would have come off in the second step. The fourth step is hand the cashier your threshold coupons. So this is like a paper three off 15, or if you have one of the paper five off 25s, I put two off 10, but we don't typically have paper two off 10s. Um, and then if these are all digital, like if you're using a digital account where you have a five off 25, that's going to be in step four. You're just then going to put your digital coupon account in, or if you're using digital coupons, put it in during step four. And then the last step is going to be hand over paper manufacturer coupons. Now the dollar generals in my area have changed to where you can use your threshold coupon first, but you must put your digitals in before they'll accept your manufacturer coupons. And that's the only reason why you want to make sure you put your digitals in before paper coupons. I said manufacturer coupons, but they're both actually manufacturer coupons. All right. So I hope that helps you guys. I've just seen this question a lot and thought I would try to break that down. I hope I didn't make it more confusing. So if you guys have any questions, comments, anything that you're interested in learning about at Dollar General that I can help you out with, please let me know in the comments of this video. If you haven't already subscribed, I hope you will. If you're already subscribed, Thank you so much. If you like these types of videos, please give this video a thumbs up. It helps me understand what you guys like and need help with. And we'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye.